Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper, and today's follow up video is of these eight foot six rails that we machined on the planer mill the other day. And I honestly was not happy with the way the first one cut. It came out great, um, no issues whatsoever, but I was not happy with it. Um, so I did some thinking and trying to figure out what I did differently this time that I didn't do last time. And I changed my whole setup and switched around my clamps, added a couple more, and quite honestly, I didn't need to add all those, but it changed the whole harmonics of it. So I moved my rigid stops to the backside on the downward cut and moved my adjustable clamps to the front side. Gave me a little more clearance, but it also give me a better cut. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll fire it up, we'll make a pass and I'll show you how much better it is. I'm taking a lot more in a pass, so that's nice. And uh, then we'll talk about uh, the rest of this. As you can see, that's handling it way better. Um, that made a whole change in the way this is cutting, so this will go really well. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up, and then uh, we'll, um, so I'm gonna cut here, and then the next scene, we're gonna talk about all the questions and comments in the video when it came out. So that'll be in a few weeks yet, but um, I gotta get these done and get these delivered, because I'm actually behind schedule on this job, so. Okay, so that job is all done and out of here, back to the customer, and we had some good questions on Saturday's video. Um, one of them was, how do you keep the material from warping? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, with cold rolled, this was 4140 annealed, um, but any cold rolled product, you mill all sides and that'll, you'll have to you know, clamp it and manipulate it after the first side to get it straight. Um, that's one way or use hot rolled. Hot rolled has less internal stresses, so it won't warp as much. Um, we had a couple of comments about hearing protection. Yes, every day in the shop, I'm wearing earplugs. Whether it's loud or not, I wear earplugs. So that's something I take very seriously here and always, always, always have earplugs in. I don't right now just because I'm you know, not running anything, but I will be as soon as I start working. You know, surprisingly in this video, there weren't a whole lot of questions and comments. Everybody thought it was pretty straightforward. Um, one question was why I didn't use the cold air gun and um, anchor lube on the face mill. Well, it really doesn't need it. Um, these carbide inserts, they work really well. Um, I didn't really need it with the carbide end mill, but I used it anyway just to help. Um, and running at the higher speed, that makes a difference on the um, face mill, I was only running at 210 RPM, it was five inserts, so it really didn't hurt it much it, at all, actually. Um, them inserts are still good and to be able to do probably that job four more times before I have to change them. Um, so I went through four bars milling them as far as I did, no problem. Another really common question that I saw or comment was how was the drive set up on this? And please go check out some of the older videos of the planer. I have explained this in detail, how this thing is set up and the upgrades I've done to it. Um, there is the planer mill playlist um, on my YouTube homepage in the, under playlists. Check that out. There's some good videos in there, some older stuff that, you know, before I got better cameras that the audio is terrible, but it gives you a real idea how this thing works and what I can do with it. So check those videos out. And now to close this video out, because um, we didn't have a whole lot of comments and questions. It was, it was still a pretty straightforward video, but 
I want to talk about what's coming up. Um, things have absolutely tanked here um, in our region um, as far as workload. Um, I am now completely caught up. I have like one little paying job in the shop right now, um, and I am going to be taking off to do some contract work that I cannot film. I'm going to be doing that for the next couple of weeks. Um, going to try to get a few more videos out. I have one for next week um, on the tumbler, and then I'm trying to get some drag line parts done. So I'm working on that. I'm going to try to get the boring done on my steam engine, but I may not be able to get these videos done um, each Saturday. So it might be spaced out a little bit. Um, we'll see what the election brings if things pick up again. Um, I've got quite a few of my customers have gone out of business this year. Um, a lot of them that are still in business are talking layoffs, uh, massive layoffs. Um, it's, it's not good. It's very scary. So um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm a debt-free facility. We're doing really well. Um, you know, we, everything's paid off, so we're not concerned. It's just come the beginning of the year, we got all of our big expenses, so we've saved up to cover those, and then moving into next year, we'll be in good shape. But it's, it's scary here. It's very, very dead <laughs> is, is the only word to explain it. So I'm going to do what I can, do videos. Um, I'm going to work on fixing things and projects coming up until start, work starts coming in again that I can film. Um, so it may be little gaps here and there, but uh, stick with us. There's cool stuff coming. Got a lot of projects I want to get on. So until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.